hi folks welcome back i hope you're all doing well so by now most developers are familiar with tools like error prone and find bugs that go and find minor anti-patterns in your code and suggest quick fixes one of the issues with tools like these is how you keep this list of patterns up to date as languages evolve they get new language features new libraries and new idioms and that is exactly the problem that the authors of this paper are trying to tackle. They want to look at revision histories from large software repositories and learn quick code fixes by analyzing that history. Before jumping into the system itself, let's take a look at a concrete example of what they're hoping to find with a tool like this. Here's a pretty common code pattern in Java where we're comparing two strings where one of the string is a literal and the other one is a variable. Now you want to write it with the literal string calling the method equals because if you write it with the variable calling the method equals, you might have a null pointer exception if that variable happens to be null. Whereas if you call it on the string literal, the equals method is able to deal with a null argument. Surprisingly enough, even though this is a very common idiom in Java by now, this pattern does not exist in common tools like find bugs or error prone. The tool the authors have built is called Reviser, and this is a very high level look at its overall flow. It starts by looking at Git repositories and their commit history, and it extracts those commits as edits to an abstract syntax tree. After doing that, it tries to cluster those edits into ones that have similar edit patterns. And from those clusters, it tries to extract a pattern that matches most of the edits in that cluster. The output is a list of tentative quick fixes that can then be vetted by a human and be fed into tools such as find bugs or error prone. The insight or rather the key assumption that this work rests on is that edits that are repeatedly made by programmers on real code bases are likely to be useful quick fix patterns. And that's what this tool is trying to observe and extract and abstract into a new quick fix. I'll go over the algorithm that this tool follows at a high level, but I do encourage you to look at the paper if you're interested in the details. The very first step in this algorithm is to extract the abstract syntax tree of the edits made in each code commit. And once you have the two trees, the tree before the commit and the tree after the commit, to look at the delta between those two trees and express the edit in that commit as a list of changes to the before abstract syntax tree that brings it to the after abstract syntax tree. The second step is to take these abstract syntax tree edits and cluster them into edits that are similar. This clustering algorithm is biased towards finding more specific templates. In other words, they want the sizes of the substitutions to be small. And then the third step is to try and extract an edit pattern that represents all the edits in one cluster. The way they do this is very similar to how anti-unification works in logic programming. So how did this tool work in practice? The authors ran this tool on nine large well-known open source projects and then ran a developer survey with 118 participants to see if those developers found those newly found and extracted edit patterns useful. Here are some examples of the kinds of quick fixes that Reviser found. The first one is a performance quick fix where if we are trying to use a character, we should prefer the character literal rather than the string literal because the character literal is going to be much faster. Another one is the example we saw at the beginning of the paper, which was to use a string literal when invoking the equals method. 
the tool also discovered several best practices and idioms like using the is empty method rather than checking that the size is zero when trying to determine whether a collection is empty. Another one is to prefer string builder over string buffer. Developers were asked whether they found these quick fixes useful. And as you can see in this table, for eight out of the nine patterns that they were shown, they did indeed find the quick fixes to be useful. But here's the other thing that proves the utility of this tool and goes to the motivation for this paper, which is that most of the patterns that were found by Reviser, those patterns did not already exist in the current tools. So they were newly identified patterns. And finally, this is where the rubber meets the road. The authors submitted PRs to some of these projects with the quick fixes that they just found. And they had about two thirds of their PRs accepted. So that was a quick look at a tool that tries to learn quick code fixes by analyzing the commit histories of large code bases rather than depending on humans to keep adding these to existing tools. And developers found it to be pretty useful. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.